So I hope I'm going to show you how to set up your community project on the Sustain Wikispaces website. I go to my email and look, I've received email from Wikispaces. I can join this wiki. So I click on this and boom, there I am. And I'm confused because I don't know what I'm seeing. Ah, so I go to all pages and I go down to the project summary. Ah, there we are. Isn't that nice? The project summary. Here's a project names and link to all the web pages for the different projects. Look, Makerspace has one. And the project is help the slow Makerspace develop activities and community resources to stay in business and better serve the community. Ah, that's the very short description. The contact person is Pete Schwartz. Oh, me. And no interested students have signed up yet. Okay, so I click here and I see, oh, there's the wiki for the Makerspace project. It says the slow Makerspace and on Facebook. So I can see I have links directly to the slow Makerspace website. That's very exciting. There it is. Okay, but I go back and I can see, I can go and see them on Facebook. I can see that they have events at the Student Experimental Farm and they have a Facebook page. Oh, very nice. Okay, so how do I make this happen for my own project? Let me, let me close back. So how could I do this? Let's say I wanted to build one for another web page. So I type in here. Oh, I can't type. Right. So I have to hit edit. If you don't have the option to edit, there will be a different square icon up here that is not present now. And if you click it, this will appear. In any case, click and now I can edit. I can do all kinds of interesting things. Let's say I want to start the student experimental farm and a permaculture minor. And how can we support activities at the SEF, Student Experimental Farm? Um, and you could contact me again. Um, that would be very good. And we hope students sign up. Now, how do we make this web page? Very good. First, we could save this so we don't lose it. And now we see I have my entry. But if we want to make our new web page, we want to go to um, add page and maybe the page is going to be permaculture. That sounds good enough and it creates the page but that page is not yet created. You see template. So you have to start writing something. So let's say I want to write we are interested in supporting permaculture activities at Cal Poly and in the surrounding community and introducing a permaculture miner at Cal Poly. Then I can save it. Now this template will disappear. There you go. Now I've got a web page. And it's very important you do this. Copy this URL. Now I've got that copied. And then I can go back to my original page and I can put that link in here so it's linked. So we go back to edit and I'm going to highlight this or I can just type it in. But I write a link and I say it's a web page. I can write student experimental farm, permaculture minor, new window, and I put the URL right here. Boom. And then I add the link. Maybe I decide that's a little bit too long because it's going to stretch this out. So I undo that action. I just add a link and I put link. Right. And we got a web page. I want it to open up a new window. And then I put it in and boom, there's the link. Save. And now I'm all set to go. And now I can click on this link when I'm in the page. Click and it takes me to my page. Now I can start building my page. I can add anything I want. I can add a table. Oh, I better edit. Right. I can add a table if I want. Um, how about if I add a picture? I can go and start to add pictures. But oh, there's only two pictures there from the makerspace that I had before. So first we need to load the pictures up. Let's find, let's find some permaculture stuff. So what if I go to Facebook, I go to the student experimental farm. One, I could take and put that link there on the web page. So I could put here, see, see the SCF, the student experimental farm at Cal Poly on Facebook. Very nice. There it is link. Oh, 
web page. I need to write web page. And now I enter the URL, and there it is. Um, save that, and there it is. And now I can see this takes me directly to the student experimental farm. And maybe I can find some real nice pictures like... How about these pictures from the three-day permaculture kids camp? And maybe I just take this and I get a screenshot of it. And there it is. And I'm going to write perm camp. Now I go back to the page that I want to build, and I want to enter edit so I can load that picture on, but I can't load it yet. I first have to go and upload the file. And here it says just drag the file on in, and I'm going to drag my permaculture file in there and ask it to upload. It takes a moment. The file's uploaded. It tells me that, and I can get rid of this. And now... I can go to my edit and go to files and find that file. Here it is, Permaculture Camp, and it should load right there. How nice. And I can change the size, make it nice and small, right? And maybe I don't like where it is. Can I bring it down here, down below? There we go. So now I can write whatever I want, and in the end, I'll save it. And I have my new page, and it's linked to the original page with this link. Hope that was helpful. Bye.